Here we are at the 9-11 Memorial. There's the tower. Um, as you can see, the snow is a lot of it here. <coughs> Look at that. 29 degrees here too, which is probably about 15 degrees colder than it is in Baltimore right now. And they've been getting snow, you can see that. Oh, look at that thing when we come back. Hmm. Here, hold this a minute. Just hold it by the zip. Come on, come on. quiet here, which is, uh, I forgot what you call those things. Pretty sad that a tragedy created this some 20 years ago almost. Yeah, this September will be 20 years, hard to believe. A bunch of brave people lost their lives to prevent other lives from being lost. That plane was definitely headed back to DC. Actually, it, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Evansville, Evans City rather, took a lot longer. Take a rock. Legs hurting. Somebody put their really stupid shit. Any updates on this phone? Probably gonna die soon, but oh my god, that's scary looking up at that. Look at that with the clouds moving. Talk about vertigo. Oh man, but it is really cold here. You know, Ooh. and there are a few people, there's probably a lot of people here in the summer. It is freezing up here. Yeah, it's a nice memorial. Yeah. Now we're going to go see where the plane actually crashed. We're going to look at this thing they got here, if we can. There's a summertime people looking. <laughs> Look yeah. how it looks in the summer, all in the trees. And all. Have to come back. 
That's nice. That's weird. Uh, this is a long way up, but these trees look bigger there. I know, don't they? Than they do actually there. That's weird. They're giving you the futuristic look. Hmm, maybe this is a painting or something. I don't know. 93 feet tall and 15 feet in diameter. Probably got to come up with something a little bit better design. I don't know. Yes. We're at the um, place, I guess, where it happened. Here's uh, somebody left this here. It's very eerily quiet. Let's look at this map here and show us where we're going to go. Look at this thing. Crash sites here. We're here, right? Yeah. Uh, you were here where the star is. <coughs> Where's the star? Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, let's see. This should show us something. Uh. You were here. Where's number seven? Where's the crash site? Don't tell you. Oh. You gotta walk over there. Okay. It's, uh, like I said, eerily quiet. Very peaceful. Uh, the other one, <coughs> American Airlines 11, that was the first one that hit. That hit at uh, 846. Oh, this is the, they're trying to give yeah, homage to the, yeah, timeline. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because here's the second one, the 903. United Airlines Flight 175. This one, I believe, was the last one. <laughs> uh, the last crash, I think. Pentagon. Yeah, that was 9.37. I don't care, I'm writing it. Right. Trump. <laughs> He's the only one who cares about our country, so why not? You think I'm going to write Biden? Yeah. It would have been nice if that was open. Look how it goes down that way. This is probably a nice place to go to. Also, you want to be by yourself with your thoughts. All the windmills in the back. <clears throat> One day a field of honor forever. Doesn't have an actual. Doesn't have an actual thing to say. Could we go down there? I guess not. I mean, it has a walkway. I mean, it doesn't have no. Sure, I heard there were gonna be cars driving down here, so probably drive. So I think that's a parking lot. 
Let's leave them. Well, I know what happened. I remember a clump of trees. So, you know, I mean, I would think it's over there somewhere. Right out in here. They would have like you see as like trails. Yeah. Wonder if that's there's access to that. Huh. I don't think you can get there by car because they have uh what? Yeah, about three stories up. I don't know. Hear it plain in the sky now, somewhere. Just think how it had the sound. They interviewed somebody and said that it was real loud. People say, why wasn't there any wreckage? Because the thing came down on his nose first, like a, like a bullet and hit the ground going 500 miles an hour, there's not going to be much left. I would think it's over there somewhere. But, uh, it's got to be the place, but... Like I said... If you were able to get into the visitor center, you would know more. We'll have to come up when it gets warmer. Yeah. And when it gets... Non-COVID. Stupid COVID shit. Which I don't understand why... Oh man, there's a plane there. Oh, there it is. Probably the path it took to. Well, actually, it probably came from that direction. Probably, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, because it, it's, it's much too cold to be walking down there. We're not really dressed. I didn't expect it to be this cold up here. I mean, this is really, really cold. I think that trail to get down to it uh, is from that building there. Huh? Yeah. Well, it says it's visitor center. Yeah, this, if the trail goes all the way, it has to be accessible by vehicle to get down there. I don't see where there's a trail here. She's got to follow on the road, I guess. Just keep following the road. And we'll come back in the spring or summer when it isn't so cold. 29 degrees and a slight breeze which makes the wind chill probably in the teens. It took like around three hours to get here I guess. Doesn't seem like it's further than any other place. Look, they went down that way. Let's walk around here. warmer here with the sun. Look, look at this. This little caterpillar, buddy. Huh. Take him with us. The hell? Yeah, here's, I think this is where the, yeah, the trail. Yeah, the trail. Is that open? I see people has been down here. I don't know, Lisa, you what for it or no? It's all right if you want to wait until uh, it gets warmer. Yeah. But we'll be back to do the hiking trail. Yeah, let's do it, but... 
looks like a good, nice trail, too. It's just too cold today to do it. My hands are already cold. At least the bathroom's open. You want to wait for her to come out. I'll just get her on the... Yeah, but i got to get her now. Well, go ahead. All right. Well, there's the day it happened. Left is a big plume of smoke. Oh, look, there's a person over here talking about it. <laughs> we should see if that's still here. Look for that. Look for that barn. See, here, here's what happened. <laughs> left New York, once it made that circle, you know, not far from Cleveland, it, it, it probably went right over Evan City. Sad day in America that day. I was stunned. There's the actual, there's the flight voice recorder. There's the actual site. And there's all the people. He was one of the big heroes. And this guy too. These two. Yeah. Beamer and Burnett. New Jersey and Minnesota. Oh wow, piece of the plane. Yeah, this is, remember we were up there. This can't be the crash site. I think it's up back, up there. Well, we were going to wait until uh, later. The reef laying area. I think the crash site's a little further up that way, but there's where we were, looking down over it. At least I'm about to go live. Maybe I can get to it here. I know, they ask so many damn questions before you do it. Live, live, live. Live video. I'm using this old LG phone. Still makes good video. Ah, what a day. You know, look at all these reefs. They're probably for everybody that... Look at these reefs probably represent each person. My mother always wanted to come up to see this. Maybe this is a way she can see it in a way. Like I said before, it's kind of, you know, eerie that it's so quiet here, but other than the wind blowing. I if that woman up there is a relative, huh?
continuing on. Probably could have done that all the way. It's cold, but I like it. Well, that's up, that's up here. For a long time, this was a crime scene. But it's great that they gave these people their rifle, too. This is a crash in the field in front of you. Actually, I think it was over there. Remember them clumped to trees. Yeah, I do believe it was over there. This is hallowed ground, it really is. You know, the probably parts that they never found still buried in the ground, and possibly even uh, human remains. It was a terrible, terrible day. Still remember like it was yesterday, and this year we're coming up to the 20th anniversary of the worst day in American history. Y'all see flags over there. Yeah, I think that rock is the crash site. Because I see flags. See if I can zoom. It's hard to see with this the sun. Yeah. I think that's the actual crash site right there. Wow. I'd like to see it up close, but I guess it's best that they do have it blocked off because... Yeah, there's always assholes everywhere. People who are very anti-American. What does that sound? I was going to say. I think it's a know, flagpole over there. All this wind now. You think it was all bells must be ringing. I don't even... That thing's a ways away. But I know. I'm saying. It's a wind over there. Yeah, somebody... I was just going to say this. Rest in peace. I think she heard that there. Yeah, I know we were going to wait until the spring, but this, uh, it's cold down here, but still. They made sure that plane went down over this field to prevent other lives from being lost. That is the true mark of heroism. You know, at some point they knew they were going to not, they weren't going to make it through. And after hearing what was going on in New York and Washington, decided, no, this ain't going to happen. Today. So that area right there to zoom all the way in. Yeah, that's that's definitely the crash site. Little flags over there. Wonder what this wall has. 
wonder if that woman is a relative. She wrote something on the wall here. Let's see. Well, you turned off live? Did you get anybody looking or you didn't know? I couldn't tell. Yeah, it's been here. Well, whatever it is, I hope it ain't nothing derogatory. It's gonna have people that hate our country so much that they'd rather see. Right here. Yep, we're definitely in the flight path. Passengers were flying over the flight 93. Yeah. Actually, that wall is a flight path because it makes sense. Because it lines up with that. gate right there, I'm sure takes you out to it when they want to do maintenance on it. But here's the names of the people that were, that's a flight attendant. Todd Beamer. Aunt Mark Bingham, he's another hero. They're all heroes, but Thomas Burnett, they were all heroes, but a few of them are the ones that decided. What was his line? He said, "Let's let's roll." Yeah. He's like, "Fuck it, man!" Oh, look at this—an unborn child as well. They never were in any wars or anything, but. These people are heroes in the same sense as any um, veteran authorized personnel only. I guarantee you, if you try to breach that, you'll probably be here in a second. <laughs> anyway, that's our tour of Flight 93. We'll probably come back in the spring when it's a little more pleasant. <laughs> Even in the summer, even though it'll be probably hot here, it, and this black uh, color to the pavement doesn't make it hotter, but still, look, somebody left this reef under this woman. Yeah. I wonder if, it, I wonder if that's a relative. <laughs> Never know. Yep. to make a little stop here at this mountain which this could be treacherous but uh, uh, oh my goodness look at that view uh, look at that down there that's a pretty long way down there oh, oh man a little bit of take to see if I can grab a rock here. I always like to take the souvenir rocks. I'm kind of slippage in here. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is uh pretty far up in the mountains. Uh, uh, I don't know how far up you want to go. Uh, let me see here, yeah. Oh, this one's better. Uh, 
degrees colder up here. Uh, not yet. Let me put these rocks in here. We gotta put these. Hey man, oh, I'm here. Put them in there. Oh shit. That's gonna be the end of this. Ran out of battery power. Oh. So we're gonna switch to the other room. We're gonna go. I don't know, it's still right in here. Uh, right here would be good. And ball, put Baltimore on it and the date. Hello. What are you waiting for? It's drying out. I gotta give it a little bit. Because of the wind. MD, so they know it ain't new Baltimore. And then the date. Oh, it's drying out again. Hey, somebody wrote Marx's name up there. <laughs> Later.